Notebook software is object-oriented software. So each thing inside the little notebook window is an object. When you click on the, um, the object, or if you tap on the object with your smart board, you'll notice that these handles appear. The green handle here, if you click, click it or hover over top of it, I can click and hold and I can turn my object with the green handle. This one down in the bottom right hand corner, I can click and hold and I can resize. Or on my smart board, I can simply touch it and resize it. There's one more button here that I need to show you. It is the, the drop down button. If you click that button, you'll see you have a whole bunch of options here. One of them is clone. So if I need two of those cards, now I have another one. Another one is cut. Maybe I don't need that other one. I can cut it. Uh, the next feature is copy. So if I copy it, it is on my imaginary clipboard. So then I can do a right click and I can paste it. So I could paste it onto another page if I wish. Then you have the delete. So if I want to delete it, I can delete it there. Uh, you also have infinite cloner. This one's really interesting. If you click infinite cloner, then when you click on the seven again, you'll notice that the infinity symbol is now where that drop down box used to be. So now I can make as many sevens as I would like. Now I can't delete this because it's infinite, infinitely cloned. So in order to get the infinite cloner turned off, you have to click on that little symbol and click on the infinite cloner and it will de deselect that option. If I click the arrow again, I can lock this item in place. Okay, so if I hover over there, I can choose lock in place, which is handy when you don't want kids to be moving things around. So they come up and you don't want this to move, you want it to stay, you can lock it in place. Um, there's a little lock on it and then I can unlock it. Um, I can flip my object, so I can flip it left, right. Now it's backwards. I can flip it back again. Whoops. I can also flip up down. Okay. And you can do this with any object. You can do it with photos or anything. So I'm just going to turn that back. Next option is order. Now, smart notebook software is very smart. It will keep track of the last item that you have put on your smart board. So this one was put on last. So it will go over top of all the other items that are on this page. What if I want this card to go behind this ace of clubs? If I use this little drop down button and go down to the order tab, I can say send to back. Now my seven will go behind everything. Okay, so you can play with the order that things have been placed on your board. Um, you have some different options, bring forward again. Um, and you also have um, send backwards. That will just send it behind. Um, it can send it just behind one, but right now it's going behind all. So play with those options.